Have you wondered what it's like to drive in Germany or what rules you need to abide to? Ha! I'm going to take you on a drive today and I'm going to teach you everything, really, the basics of what you need to know when you drive in Germany. Hey, I'm Jen from SimpleGermany.com, where we help expats settle into life in Germany more smoothly. <laughs> if you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified whenever we release new content. So, let's go drive in the Deutsche streets, ne? Vamonos! All right. So we are on a very sunny day here in Germany. Let me close that up. So here's the famous right before rule um, indication. This one is very clearly that I should be the one stopping and giving way to the people coming to the right. If you want more information or details on how that rule works, make sure to check out our video. We go into detail regarding that. So on the street, uh, this is a street in a, in a neighborhood, as you can see, and uh, the speed limit is actually 30. Um, so we need to go quite slow. So in this drive, I'm going to take you to the Autobahn, the famous Autobahn, explain to you the basics uh, that you need to know when driving to, in Germany. Here again, we have very clearly the right goes before left. So we need to stop. As you see, there is a car coming. So that car has to wait. I don't know if they are sure of that. But yes, we needed to stop. OK, if you want to drive in Germany, make sure that your driver's license is still valid. So if you are an expat, your driver's license most likely will only be valid for the first six months. If you come from uh, countries like the US, Australia, I think, and other ones that have some sort of um, agreement with Germany, you can only trade. You can simply trade your driver's license for a German driver's license. That's pretty cool. I've heard from friends that you can only just trade it, but then you have no um, no one tells you really the rules. <laughs> I am from Guatemala, so it wasn't uh, as easy for me to do that. Um, I actually had to go through a very, very uh, painful process, which we have a video on that as well. If you want more details on how to actually get your driver's license, um, if you're not one of the lucky ones that can just exchange it. So now we're on the street. Uh, you have to be very attentive to pedestrians and cyclists. Um, they definitely have the way when it's indicated. Um, for example, if I were to turn right on this street, uh, the pedestrians also have a green light, so you need to be aware of that if you want to do such things. The blue signs indicate the highway. Ah, very true, thank you. So the blue signs indicate the highway, which is uh, aka Autobahn land. So that's where we're going. Very interesting in Germany. So if you come from places like the US, um, there is no north, south, east, westbound highways. You kind of need to know the kind of like the the direction of the city that you're going to and that's going to indicate to you um, which way to take so for example if we were driving to Bonn I need to go direction Frankfurt because that's the biggest city after Bonn that um, that is coming so here pretty straightforward right we all have green lights so we keep on driving oh dead okay so I'm gonna turn right here here the speed limit as you can see that's an indication for a hundred um, so I'm going to go here on the blue. Uh, I'm going to stay here because I'm going to go on the Autobahn, as I mentioned. So here I'm going to exit to the Autobahn. Well, exit it's here. sign that the Autobahn starts. Yes, and these are the signs that the Autobahn start. Let me hold on to my GoPro here so it doesn't fall again. So interesting thing about the Autobahn, well, in this case, I don't need to go so fast. And if you see, there are radars. There's a sign of radar there on the 80, 80 sign. So radar means that if I speed, there are uh, these things called Blitz in Germany, which are machines. You know, Germans are very efficient. And the machines uh, will take a picture of you if you're speeding. Um, and what's funny is that they actually take a picture from the front. So you have no way of denying that you were in the there's car. There's one coming up on the left. And there's a radar coming up to the left. Yes, here we go. So I'm going to, yeah. So here on the left, this tube, that is a radar. So if I were going higher than 80, I would get flashed and then I get via postmail a fine um, so also interesting stuff is that you cannot taint your windows the front window cannot be tainted by law in germany that's how they guarantee that if they do take a picture of you while speeding then you're actually in the car and of course you need to pay this <laughs> so when we joined this autobahn because there's a construction i didn't need to go as fast as i would have needed to um, Whenever you join a big highway, generally, you need to speed up a little bit more to be able to join the fast traffic. Exits on the Autobahn are always to the right. You never exit to the left. Um, and here, as you can see, now the Autobahn is 120. There are no construction signs. And as you see this Porsche, he's probably going faster than 120. I don't know. <laughs> um, so if you probably heard of the famous Autobahn, 
you probably heard, oh, I can drive super fast and as fast as I can. And that is true, but not really. So, so there's a certain percentage of the Autobahn that has no speed limit. There is other percentage that has a speed limit, like now, which is 120. And there's another part of the Autobahn, which the speed limit is determined by the amount of traffic. So here we're driving at a 120. Very important on the Autobahn, always stay right unless you are overtaking. So if you don't, uh, Germans respect this rule very much. And if you are slower than the traffic and you're not overtaken and there's a car behind you, they will flash you. They will uh, come close to you. Um, they will pretty much harass you so you can get out of the way. I mean, it's not dangerous, right? But <laughs> just so you're aware that they take this seriously. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna take over the truck. So I'm gonna go here to the left. Well, I can't because there's another car coming. So that's not gonna work. I'm gonna wait for the Audi to go. Okay, so here I'm gonna... So in this case, I'm gonna overtake the truck so I can go on the left lane. As you see, there's another left lane be behind me and that one's empty. So now, after I overtook him, I go again to my right lane. And again, here on this part, uh, there's another Autobahn and here we have 120 speed limit. So, disappointing, not every part of the Autobahn, you can go as fast as you want. Oh, the speed limit is 100. <laughs> Ooh, thanks that I have here my camera woman helping me out. And now we're exiting the Autobahn because the signs are yellow. Again, 100 speed limit. And we're going obviously to direction Dusseldorf. Here is a sign that tells me that the Autobahn is over. Usually in Europe, when things are over, there's, there, there, how do you say this? There's a strike through it. There's a line that says no more, and that was the sign. So here, again, I have an 80 speed limit, so I'm, I'm, I'm entering the city of Dusseldorf. So, um, so on this bridge, I have an 80 of speed limit. However, when I'm driving in the city itself, it's 50 usually, unless some very small streets, uh, they indicate that it's a 30. Here is another radar. Again, it's that pole, that gray pole with the black stripes, that is a radar. So if I were going faster, I would get flashed and here comes my fine. So if you see this is blinking orange and that's an indication in Germany that the next street light that we're gonna find is gonna be red. So that kind of warns you to slow down. It's a few meters before the, the, um, the street light uh, happens. Also, I've heard expats mention that it's interesting that in Germany there are three colors uh, for the street light. So there is red, orange, and green. So the orange pretty much indicates that red is coming. <laughs> or green or green is coming. Does it go from red to orange as well? Sometimes. So here we're gonna make a right. And as I mentioned, we need to be um, very careful with pedestrians. As you see, there's a blinking light that tells me that pedestrians or cyclists can come. So I just need to be sure that no one is there to make a, a right turn. And as you can see on my right hand side, there is a cycling lane. I cannot drive on that. I have to respect the cyclists. Um, there's also the buses drive on that lane as you can see by that big bus. And here I'm gonna also make a right. And as you see, the pedestrian sign is also there um, turning orange. So I have to be sure no bikes or no pedestrians are coming. If there is, I just need to stop. The person behind me also needs to stop. Um, and you know, we need to let them pass and then everyone is happy. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this ride that we went on in the multiple German roads. Um, I hope you got some good impressions of what you can expect if you ever want to drive here or you're planning on doing so. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. It would really help us out. Um, I guess that's it for today. I hope I get to see you next time. Tschüss.